Pisces, how we doing? This will be a message for you. Whenever you see the message, it belongs to you. All right. I think this uh, message is going to be kind of heavy. I'll be honest with you. Anytime I see major arcana and some tens clarifying it. Yeah, more major arcana. Okay. All right. We're having trouble getting some things off the ground. Yeah. We're in a cycle of manifestation. That's for sure. Um, it's probably just the timing of something right now. You know, it takes time, sweetie. I see that you're an, act, you're an active person. You're a go-getter. Man, this is heavy. This is heavy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's really strong. Oh, man. All right. I hope I can make it through. Pisces, what are you doing, bro? Oh. All right. Let's do it for Pisces, please. Okay. Whatever you're doing, it's working. Your energy is really hard for me to get through. I mean, it's so... All right, let's do it. Wow. All right. What are we doing here? Yeah, the tower. Okay, somebody else's reading started off with the tower. I don't remember which one it was. But in the recent past, something we had a change to the foundation for sure where things just won't be the same. You know, this is a blow, it's a shock and an all. It's like, bam, reversal. Yeah, we dropped the burden. Uh, tower moment, burden's dropped. It's like, fuck, sorry, F it, F it. Somebody said F it, they threw the F it switch. Somebody here threw the F it button, F it. I am trying to refrain from cursing. I make no guarantees, but when I, when you're practicing of the Lord, it's really not cool to be cursing. You know, I do listen to readers who do curse. Um, I'm trying to refrain from that. A lot of major arcana here with tens. You know, I can't, your energy is extreme, Pisces. Um, and you're pulling on your energy, the moon. Um, uh, maybe something to do with these moons. I do not follow the moons. I don't um, I don't feel good about that. I don't not um, I, I'm kind of old school with the Bible and to get in that kind of uncharted territory, I just want to stay with what I know. Um, I don't feel real good about following the moon that getting into the moons is weird as that sounds as a reader. Um, there's some avenues I just don't want to go down. I think it opens it opens up uh, uh, other gods, like you know, worshiping other gods and such. And I don't I don't, I don't want to go down that that uh, more major arcana. Uh, your you know your energy is very very rough for me to um, get through. For one, it's extremely heavy. You have a lot of major arcana here, clarified by tens. It it, it it's a uh, very it's heavy and it's hard for me to sit here. Um, it's hard for me just to sit here. Like I want to, I need to be doing something. Um, yeah, whatever this shock and awe moment was, it was huge. It ended something, something is forever changed. It's forever changed and there's a plan on it. Um, I'm not for sure if the plan was sneaky or not, foul i'll have to get more clarification before i call it a sneaky plan okay but i'm not liking what i'm seeing so far but i don't want to call i'm not going to paint it a certain direction yet um i i'm inclined to feel that way that it wasn't on the up and up with the reversals and the epic switch more a major arcana uh baby I, if you pull any more major arcana you're not gonna give me much to work with here okay it's a lot of tens clarifying major arcana. A lot. You've got ten of wands reverse, and now you've got the full, which is major arcana clarifying tens. Um, I don't know what this moon business is about, but it's clearing out some stuff. It's illuminating some stuff. 
Um, shock and awe moment, something will never be the same. I see where someone threw the effort switch. There's some secrets ahead. There's some fear ahead as well. We did something, we said epic, we released the burden, and we it's like um, it's like standing on the edge of the cliff and say there was like a pack of wild dogs chasing you, wolves. There's some wolves chasing you. Um, and you're on the, and the only other option at that point is either get eaten by these wolves or jump off this cliff. And that's what I'm seeing. So it, I, I can't paint it any other way. Uh, I'm just being shown someone running for their life and they're at the edge of this cliff and they look back and that's the option. Jump or be eaten. Seriously, someone got chased. I don't know if they literally got chased to their death and just, and, and that's how it was. It was just a, a dive. And it's like, um, the dive is deep, deep dive. Uh, yeah, this, uh, this is hard. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah. Uh, we jumped in head first into uncharted territory. Uh, there's a lot of illusion here. I saw the magician in your pre-shuffle, okay? There's a warning here because it's like a disclaimer. There's a disclaimer. I'm seeing parental advisory. Um, there's a warning here. Parental advisory. Caution. Because everything's not as it seems with all these options. We jumped head first. We didn't have any other choice. And there's a lot of illusion and fear in uncharted territory with all these options that you have. And... Um, it's a bit confusing. It's murky. Because all these options aren't viable. Like, what is this? I mean, that's how I feel, too. What is this? Somebody threw the effort switch. But they were forced. They, Yeah, they were forced. They were forced. I mean, I'm seeing somebody who, this is the king of wands. I mean, he's a busy dude. Let go. This, this uh, dude, he was running. He was running, running, running. Look. Running. I got to do something. I got to do something. I got to do something. And I'm seeing you with the, like, uh, uh, there's seven against one here. You're pulling 77. Seven of swords, seven of wands. I mean, think fast. Think on my feet. That's Think fast. Think fast. Think fast. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's just like, F it. Yeah. Yeah, and somebody jumped. It's like, uh, I'm out of room. Out of room. More seven. Seven, seven, seven. You need to look that up. Seven, seven, seven. Seven. You got all the sevens, y'all. Seven, 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 seven. I'm, this is says important. It was the only way to win. It was the only way to win. Drop the burden. Drop it. And wherever you jump head first in, it's the land of endless possibility here. Um, you know, we're we're in, you're invested. You jumped into something head first, and there's investment here. But we're kind of in uncharted territory. My head feels big. The lovers reverse, you know, um, a lot of arguments. A lot of arguments. A lot of ignoring the arguments. Ignoring the problems. Burying our head in the sand. It feels like there's so much going on. There's not enough time in the day to address all of it. And it's better not to speak on it all until I know it all. Somebody doesn't know it all. You know what I'm saying? They don't know all the facts. I'm seeing you don't. Jumped head first into this investment, but there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of illusion around what's happening. There's a lot of irons in the fire. And this dude always has a lot of irons in the fire. He does. It's the king of wands. He's a busy dude. He's got seven, eight different irons in the fire at one time. And I'm seeing it all. I mean, it's like an attack. 
you know, and it's like, <sighs> and someone just pulled the trigger on it. Like, I'm going to drop the bird and I'm going to pull the trigger on this. I'm in. I'm in. I mean, I don't know if you're planning a bank robbery here. But we're, we're scared. There's fear around what we're doing. Because there's a million different things that could go wrong here. And it's like, you know, let's not focus on what could go wrong. Let's focus on what could go right. And I am, um, I, I agree with you there. I do. Um, I also see someone here hiding a good bit about their life. They're private. Um, they're not illuminating all the different things that are going on. This is a private matter. What goes on in this house stays in this house. It's a very successful time. Seven, 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 seven. You've got all four sevens in all this major arcana. I mean, all, and all your eight major, I mean, a lot. You got the moon. You got the tower. The death card. The lovers. Um... I mean, that alone, you got four major arcana cards here. Then clarifying it, you got four sevens clarifying that you had no other choice. This was it. I mean, are, if you're asking me, did you make the right decision? You did. You, you, I see where you did not. It was like the God pushed you here. You were pushed without the shadow of a doubt. I don't know if you jumped or you, or you were pushed. Uh, uh, you know, I, 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 I hope I'm not talking about a murder, honestly. I mean, I, I don't know. Communication's coming right at you. It's a lot of fast back and forth me messages, back and forth, back and forth communication. Um, it's coming right at you coming through the airwaves but you have a lot of communication to take action you need to take action yeah these are people are taking action oh yeah it's a bunch of them yeah there's a bunch you're talking um there's a bunch of people now uh gathering around you they're coming around you um i don't know if you're in like the entertainment industry or something i'm not sure yeah they are it's all love i mean all this communication, back and forth messaging is going on to, uh, around you. People are gathering around you. Here, here, toast it up. I mean, there's a lot of raising the glasses. Ding, ding, ding. You know, it's a lot of love. You have a lot of loved ones around you right now. I mean, there's a lot of love, a lot of celebration going on around you. But you're no fool. I mean, you, you're, you, you know to protect yourself. Friends, family, or foe, you know to protect yourself. You've spent, um, you're really thinking hard about what's going on here. You're careful, uh, maybe, who you eat with. Okay, God's in this reading, wow. God's homeboy. You're coming up as God's homeboy. You're praying. This is somebody praying. You're, you've been praying a lot. You, you're praying a lot. Pisces, you're praying. This is praise, praying all day, praising all day. Praying and praising all day. You are spending a considerable amount of time talking to God, the Hierophant and the Emperor. Um, you also are, are seeking higher counsel, higher advice, okay? Uh, higher than an emperor, right? Uh, the emperor is a very important person. Um, when you come in, your energy commands attention. People know when you're in the building, okay? I do see someone seeking higher counsel. It looks like you're talking to God, in my opinion. You may be talking to God. You may be talking to a priest, a high priest, preacher, attorney, doctor, whatever this is. Uh, Yeah, this is spirit. Okay, it's God. These are prayers. Spirit's making it real clear that you're talking to God a good bit. Somebody here's talking to God a good bit. They're tapped in. You're tapped in. And God's telling you what to do. It's like you, this is somebody who talks to God. Um, yeah, you meditate a lot. Somebody here meditates a lot. 
and you're getting back and forth communication. You're talking to God and you're getting responses back. Are you just are you coming to me for clarity? Is that what this is about? Because um, um, not all these friendships, not all these people around you are good. Even if they don't mean any harm, okay? Because I'm seeing people here with good intentions. I don't have any reversals there. But um, some of these folks, we're going to leave them behind. We're going to move away from these connections that we've outgrown. There's a lot of movement. Um, spirits definitely in the building. The Hierophant, the Emperor, and Six of Swords. Um, this is a very peaceful God. This is God. This is the God that I serve. Moses and Abraham God. This is an overall peace on the body. It's, I do feel very soothed right now because um, I got to tell you, I didn't know if I was going to be able to go through your, with your reading. Um, I felt uh, this was hard. That was heavy to get through in the beginning. There is um, an answer. Uh, there's prayers here. There's oh, back and forth. I, I don't see answer prayers yet, but somebody is talking, so you're getting answers. Um, God's um, basically told you that you need to, uh, yeah, you're, you're going to have to go. You, these people won't be able to go with you. They can't. Um, I see where you spend a good deal of time in meditation. Really, really thinking. Really thinking a lot about the hard work and the, and the type of protection that you need. You know, asking God for protection. God, protect me. Somebody here is praying for protection. You know. I don't know what you're trying to pull off, but it feels like you didn't have any other choice. And it feels like this, whatever you're doing has a possibility of going wrong. There's a lot of possibilities of things going wrong. Um, I'm also seeing someone, you know, just scared to death they made the wrong choice. Really praying. Get me out of this. Help me through this path. Help, help me through. Help me through. Help me through. Because there's a lot of people around me, man. Really thinking about, um, you know, what is the practical solution here? Because uh, you're thinking about, uh, God's asking you to think about previous fights that you've been through. When you are getting upset, and you're good, and the fear is mounting. Like, um, if you were getting ready to take stage and you're like, I just don't know, what if I stumble? What if I fall on my face? I just don't know. And your nerves are getting the best of you. Be practical, common sense always prevails, and you have a good bit of it. You know, hard work, you know, sugar from salt. Think about the fights that you've already been through, the practical solution. How did you beat, how, how did you win in the past? How did you win in the past? You're really, really thinking hard. And there's a spirit guide here kind of guiding you through. The road ahead is um, narrow. This is narrow. And it will be challenging. And there will be problems there. There will be attacks. But you're prepared. Nothing ahead of you is going... Nothing ahead of you is going to be so dramatic that you're not going to prevail. Honey, it's no weapon formed shall prosper. Weapons will be there. But you have a good deal of knowledge. You're very skilled at whatever you're set out to do here. Whatever course that we're talking about that you are up against, that you are doing right now. You are very prepared. You're one of God's homeboys. This is one of God's favorites. You uh, are highly protected. Uh, on a side note, 
in the current energy, I see a good deal of celebration with a lot of people around us, okay? You may need to re remove yourself away from these people and kind of pull back out of all this. Uh, if you're partying or whatever, you know. I, I And I think these people's intentions aren't bad for you either. But people do things and don't realize that they're hurting you. Uh, sometimes someone will put their foot in their mouth and they meant no harm when they did it. it. Wasn't like they set out to betray you. But what happens is they accidentally say too much. You know, oh, I was out with so-and-so the other night. And, yeah, he was telling me about X, Y, and Z, especially if your life is very exciting and I'm seeing it is. And I have to get away from this conflict amongst these people and I'm seeing where you're overall you're a peacemaker and wherever this journey is people will be there to help you along the way you know will this work am I making the right decision how hard is this going to be am I going to have support where I'm going yes yes I mean, faith by sight. You can't trust what you're seeing, honey. Have some faith. God will provide some support there on your journey. You know, this might be a real a, a, a physical move again. Wow. Major Arcana, Major Arcana, clarifying Major Arcana. You've got Major Arcana clarifying Major Arcana. This is the communication. This is what you were waiting for. Someone here is God's favorite. You are. I, I'm not even going to try to get away from it. Someone here is God's favorite. A lot of love. God loves you. There's lovers being clarified by the Hierophant, the Tower, on the Emperor. This, Whatever these messages are back and forth, they're shocking. They're shocking. This is someone you, if this, you know, I, I'm not a shout, not a shout, uh, not a, um, not a doubt in my mind that you're not praying. You do. But there's communication here. Could have been from a previous employer that you really respected. You respected this employer. This, this is someone that you look to as a mentor, okay? If it wasn't an employer, like a, a boss, this was a mentor of yours. And to get communication from this mentor because there was a very strong relationship there. It was shocking. Whatever this communication was in the, the recent past is shocking because... Um, you know, we have a lot of friends, we have a lot of support. We did things, even if this was like an ex-boss or something, right? Whatever, whoever this mentor was to you, it was a very personal relationship where there was love there. And I feel like you're being reminded, like, you have had a lot of soulmates that I gave you. Not all family is blood related. I have given you a lot of soulmates on your journey and I will continue to do that. You will cross paths with people that are supposed to be in your circle. Someone here is also being encouraged to keep that circle small. There's four people there. Now, this could also be a team of four different spirit guides. But they, you know, they're always with you. They're with you on everything you do. They're helping you draw up all these plans for work. They go with you to work. They go with you out to these events. They're there with your family. I think you think about this person a lot. Uh, you know, if this was someone that is no longer with us, that is deceased, uh, you have a, yeah, yeah. Um, 
This person protects you, and I feel like there's many of them. I don't know if someone here has lost a lot of relatives. These could be relatives you never even met before that are in your bloodline that protect you. These people work on your behalf. They, You're working, but these people have brought you, you know, they're guiding you. Someone here has a lot of strong spirit, guys. I, this message just may be just, you know, about faith. Keeping the faith. Someone here has a lot of fear around whatever they've jumped into. The message here is keep the faith. I have given you soul, I've given you soulmates. I've always came through. You will be supported wherever you're going. There will be support there. I have always came through. Look back on your life, on the attacks on your life and the people I gave to you. You have definitely lost relationships throughout time for one reason or another. You outgrow them. They outgrow you. You guys go your separate ways. There was no argument, but they were soulmates. They were there to help you. They supported you. They were your friends. Those people cared about you. Someone here may be moving away for work. And there's some resistance. You're getting some resistance. The family doesn't agree. And this is hard. I got to think about what's best for my future. And if this is a move for work, I mean, it's money. The money is there. You're going eight of pentacles, queen of pentacles. This is a substantial amount of money to go from an eight to a queen. And it's the practical sound decision. But you're getting, you're getting a lot of resistance from your family. And you are really thinking hard about what is best for everyone. Um, you need to be careful about your circle because when you when you fall out, I'm seeing the ten of cups, I'm seeing the fighting. You know, you're gonna find out. What kind of soulmates people are, by the way. Because it's real, real easy to be a good friend, a good family member, when we're all on agreeable terms. It's when you fall out with that person, you find out who you were dealing with. Because I don't care what you say, love is love. You either love that person or you didn't. And even when at your most angriest you would never sell that person out. No, we're not on good terms. No, we're not getting along. I haven't talked to them in a while. It didn't end well. But either you loved them or you didn't. Either you love or you don't. And you find out who you were really dealing with when you guys go on bad terms. What kind of nasty are you dealing with? And I'm seeing where someone here has been blessed with some great soulmates along the way. These people really had your back. Right, wrong, or indifferent. They had your back. Yeah, you're confused. You don't know what to do. Two of Swords. You know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm beating my head up against. I, I'm in a rock and hard place. I don't know. Again with these people. All right. These confused people. I think there's drinking going on. There's a lot of celebration going on. And these people uh, might be slowing your growth a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot of drinking. Um, being in denial about the people that you're around. Um, confused. Don't be confused. There's a lot of money around you. Ten of Pentacles. Again, yeah, it's too prominent. Uh, it's the same. I'm just going to read the same cards here. Now you're pulling a 44. Um, confused about the money. You know, what do I do? This is the family money. Family, wealth, health, happiness. And I'm seeing someone here who's really thinking about everyone that they love. And you've sacrificed a lot for these people that you love. Wow, nine of cups, ace of cups. This is awesome, man. It's rare that I can give such a, you know, a decent message here, but, um, in the future, I mean, I 
If you're unsure, and I'm saying where you're unsure, a lot of money on the line. What is the practical thing to do here for everyone involved? I'm seeing in the future you will be highly satisfied. This is a brand new cycle. Brand new. Highly satisfied. You're getting it. You're getting it. If, um, you know, don't be confused. I see where somebody's confused because there's a lot of money involved. But you've worked really hard. You deserve this. Your happiness is important. And I'm seeing your wishes coming true. It's like a wish come true. A wish come true here. I mean, with the emperor and God, I, it is, I, I hope this message is making sense to you. Again, with this, I saw this on the bottom. There's a plan here, okay? You're confused and there's money around it. And a lot of money around it. A plan on your financial success here. Your financial independence. Celebrating that financial independence. God's plan. You're confused, not knowing what to do. Mm -hmm. There's a plan here for financial independence. You know, whatever this is, you're going to be highly satisfied with it. You're getting paid your worth. You're going to be so happy. This just feels like a huge financial offer. It was, it's part of the plan. I know that um, you have to live by faith, not by sight. There's a plan in play right now and you're scared. You've got to go by faith and not by sight. There's people around you. You have got a great deal of support right now. They are hearing, they, they, they know all your thoughts. They know how much time and money is on the line right now. In the future, I am seeing someone highly satisfied. The whole family is eating. Seriously, it's you, not a cups, being offered a brand new everything. This is very holy. It's very fertile. Whatever you're doing is extremely fertile and you're being paid your worth and that it's being spread evenly. This is good. It's time that you reap the rewards that you are due, but it is scary. It's scary. But this is the this is the part, honey. This is your big moment. It's like that slim shady um, slim shady song. Um, In the moment you own it, you better never let it go. 